is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below damn <clears throat> ten of wands with the tower here did you break up aquarius looks like a relationship to me which was becoming more of a burden you know you released you let you lay off the situation you could have felt very lonely in the relationship you know almost like i one person was doing all the work taking the entire load of the relationship and with the tower here you could have had a realization of some sort and you just let it go this is releasing burdens it was a very draining energy you know where again i'm feeling this one person here quest could be you could be them but one person was holding the entire um relationship on their shoulders okay and they had no support from the other person and they were fed up and tired of it exhausted burnt out and i think with the tower moment here right you let it go it was unexpected <clears throat> something was unexpected and a, a very big shock but yeah you let the tower fall that's for sure you let the tower fall could be someone who was not ready to express their emotion someone who didn't want to be vulnerable to you yes of course yeah and now they want to be vulnerable you want to let this you let this person go okay and now this person's coming in they're coming in to make things happen with you okay they're ready to make things happen with you this person is now ready to open up magician right they're ready to take this risk they're willing to take an opportunity with you willing to take that action they're going to use everything okay someone's in that full blown manifestation mode the moment you let them go right they're coming in full speed like they're hell bent on making things happen with you someone who was closed off to you okay you were very disappointed with this person okay you could have been very shut down to this person or also this person could have been shut down to you okay now they're ready to open up like i said right they want a new beginning with you in love ready to redo this relationships but are you going to let them in i don't think so i don't think so you're standing your ground you're holding your ground i don't think you're going to let them in so easily now see from the 10 we're going to 7 right it's getting better I'm thinking you're probably going to give them a chance right but it's like you know trust issues right you're not going to be like oh yeah you can just walk in and waltz into my life anytime you want no i don't think you're going to let them do that they're going to have to break down your walls because that's a very determined energy that's like i'm going to stand my ground okay you fucked up before and i don't trust you one bit so yeah you're going to keep that your distance from this person you probably are going to start talking to them okay because with the nine of pentacles here okay you realize your worth and value you realize how good you are you realize how cool you are you have that very strong um independent um uh, sense you know um you're someone who realizes that you can balance your work life and love life you're someone who doesn't need anyone okay you're living your best life financial independence absolutely independent on your own <clears throat> living like i said right living a luxurious life taking care of yourself very focused on finances is what i'm getting okay i think that's what you are you're focused on your finances and your independence at the same time okay and you don't want anyone coming and messing it up this time see empress here they want abundance with you they look at you as marriage material they see how fulfilling you were okay they see that you had a, brought a lot of balance in their life the empress is wanting to create something new They want this with you, Empress. This is marriage. This is commitment. This is something stable, long term, abundance, creating something new. They want to restart with you, and this time they're coming in with that emotional happiness. Okay, opening up, talking to you about their feelings, but you're not very open to that. But yeah, they see you as Empress here. Okay, they see you as abundant, absolutely on your own. Now they feel very codependent on you. Maybe you were a little clingy, needy, and. or maybe i'm thinking once you over exhausted yourself you gave into this person to a point of exhaustion you put themselves you put them first okay and now you're putting yourself first and they're coming in they're coming in to talk to you they want to confront you probably you're avoiding this person right you block them like i said right could have blocked them on social media but they want to try and find ways to come and talk to you five of swords you don't trust them see i'm getting that again and again and again you don't trust this person you feel the need to stand up for yourself 
because you've already walked away from this person's mind games once okay you feel the need to protect i don't know why they protect yourself as in literally like this person could have played a lot of mind games with you there were serious conflicts with you and then probably an abusive connection or you know someone who was just you know never ready to open up suppressing their emotions when you wanted to talk to them about the connection or what was wrong they always shut you down you know and they probably drove you away you know literally they literally drove you away by they sabotaged this connection yeah that's the word they sabotaged this connection and now they're open to having a dialogue with you okay they're open to communication with you then of pentacles they want this with you they want that ten of pentacles they want that stability something stable something committed seven of swords <coughs> I think they're um, still a little deceptive, okay. And probably this is what you think also about them, okay. Seven of Swords is someone being deceptive, someone who's lying, but could be someone who withhold their feelings from you. Or again, I'm getting that you could be very, very careful about this person. Don't know why you're getting trust. The Queen of Pentacles, your focus is you. You're only focused on you, the money, the stability, the security, the home, the family, whatever it is, the kids. You're being very practical about this. this this person okay you're not going to be driven into emotions anymore the empress is also someone who's gone through a lot of shit yeah and she also thinks very logically she's not like that emotional person she takes care of herself you know and she's got her self worth in place she knows what she's worth so yeah like you literally taught them how to treat you and with the seven of swords i think they want to want to sneak in they're trying to sneak in they're acting very strategically when it comes to you they want a reconciliation this person wants to come back to you big time okay and really bad again the magician they're going to take everything that they need or everything that they can to do to manipulate the situation and get you back that's reuniting reconciliation they want a new beginning with you okay that's it. i have all upright cards here but this fell in the reverse okay but okay fine i'm just going to take it I think you're still clinging on to the past memories. I mean, this is someone from your past who's coming back. Six of Cups in reverse means do you still want them back? It's again a question. It's like a huge question mark. Do you still want this person back? Maybe you're still clinging on to the memories from the past. Okay, like the good old days that you had with this person. Has this person still changed? Something like that, but yeah, this is holding a grudge. See, that's what I'm getting. You're holding a grudge against this person. There's something that you're not over. You're not letting all go of those um, memories that hurt you, right? Eight of Pentacles. They're very focused on your work. They're very focused on your work because you've ended things with this person. But this person wants another chapter with you. Maybe this person wants to come in and they're ready to put in the work, right? But your card is high up. I don't know how they're going to get them back, but they're coming back for sure. They're coming back. They see you as their soulmate. You see them as your soulmate. But again, it's like that bitterness that's there, which is a, like a blockage here. Either you haven't healed from your past, they haven't healed from their past. Let's see, Queen of Wands. They see you in that fiery energy. Now they're very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. They feel you have all the power in you to let them go. Maybe you, because see, with the ten of wands, you're right. You went through this long, tiring road with them. Okay, tens are endings, right? It's ending a cycle. So it started from the one, ended to the ten. So which means you went a long way with this person. Okay, you were taking it and taking it and taking it till you couldn't completely, you know, and you had to let, like literally, right, ready to let it go. Queen of wands, you're in this mode right now. You don't know what to do with this person. You literally don't. When this person comes in, confronts you, whatever, right? You don't know what to do with this person. This person is going to get you very confused. You're like, um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should take you back because I'm the empress and I got what I need. You know, I'm the I'm like this go getter. Can you match up to my energies? This person could have really screwed you over big time, right? Like they really, really hurt you, or this could be someone who has issues from their past relationships and they're bringing in that trauma in this relationship and that's when they screwed up this potential that's what the seven of swords here in and out right constantly trying to run away from commitment or trying to run away from opening themselves up you know or trying to uh, um you know uh, put up this um um you know that fakeness you know putting up 
putting up a show of like you know they're not very serious about you or whatever having fears of opening up anything and they see you're walking away and they're not very happy about it they regret it it's like dude did i let like a real good girl or a real good guy like leave woohoo king of pentacles you're coming back with that solid commitment and they're gonna tell you with their words king of swords they're super clear about it they're very clear about what they want my problem here is are you going to let go of that grudge are you going to let your guards down are you i'm not very sure about that because you feel the need to you know guard yourself from this person but they're coming in with that solidarity okay with that longevity they want something stable with you because they see you as someone you know who doesn't really need them you know you probably even have a lot of suitors you're sexy you're good on your own you know you have that passion you're a good businessman whatever it is right but they see you in good light with the empress and the queen of wands you know? you're taking out care of yourself etc but they want this reconciliation they want to get back to you maybe they friends owned you in the past okay and you, for you it's like you know i've had enough i'm not messing with this <clears throat> energy anymore Seven of Swords. I'm getting someone who keeps ghosting you. Also, you know, could be someone who ghosts you. Okay, and now they're returning back. They're very guilty, and now they're going to be very strategic about their moves towards you. They're guilty. They're coming back. Seriously, I feel they're feeling very guilty about whatever happened. They're coming up. They're coming back. Sorry, they are King of Swords. They're going to tell you. This is clear communication. This is using their logic. They're going to keep their emotions on the side, and they're going to tell you what the truth is. Two of Wands. It's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to you to make a decision about whether you want this person or not. I'm getting this for every reading. All the ones who've been cheated, lied to, or broken up, or whatever it is, right? All the people are coming back, and everyone's indecisive. I don't see anyone who's just quickly like taking the other person back. You know, it's like, man, I'm in two minds. You know, I don't know. You're going to be the crossroads when this person comes with the clarity, okay? Or this could also be you that your approach towards this person is going to be very strict, or very stern, but firm. You know, like you want to be firm, stern, but fair. You want to see to that you're making a very logical decision. That's why two of wands here, right? You need to make a very detached decision. I think you're half and half out. You're not very sure about this person. You, you know, you haven't left the building as yet, but it was a very disappointing situation. But I feel that you're almost there, and that's when this person completely stops you just before you step out of the building. Like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Can we, can we please make this happen? Here? That's what I have for you. I hope you, uh, I hope this reading resonates with you and you like.